So inquiring minds want to know, did I hit the 100 pounds? Watch this video to find out. Hi, this is Patty. Welcome back to my channel, Winning at Weight Loss. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So all this week, I've been focusing on trying to lose 100 pounds. And when I got on the scale this week, I lost 2.6 pounds. So it made me at 100 pound weight loss, yay! I did it, I did it. I finally got back to that elusive number of losing 100 pounds. I did it uh, several years ago when I started this Weight Watcher program, but continue to do Weight Watchers through ups and through downs and ups and downs. But I'm finally back on track and I lost it. I'm down 100.1 pounds on my way to goal. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. I lost a hundred pounds and I think I like it. So what have I done to help me achieve my 100 pound weight loss? Uh, the number one thing I do is track. I track all the food I eat. It's so easy to go over and above what you want to eat. The portions are very important in uh, uh, staying on a program. I mean, you can really eat whatever you want, but you just have to track it. So it's just that's just the way it's going to be. You can overeat anything. You shouldn't put trigger foods uh, in your house if like. I know I like cookies, if I have them around, I really have trouble not eating them or chocolate. So I don't even put them in the house because that's gonna definitely hit, hit and harm my weight loss efforts. I know just eating a, one cookie is like at least three points and if you eat five, that's 15 and that's like three, you know, fourths of your daily food. So you can't, you can't put food like that um, or you can, portion out things like if you want to have uh, potato chips just portion out a four point in a little sandwich bag and then just keep it aside a little snack snack uh, basket for the week so you know that what you're eating uh, is all you're going to eat and it will it's very important to keep that uh, so you can track your food correctly another thing I do is like to plan my meals for the week not so much breakfast and lunch, but I do track, uh, plan my dinners uh, so I know what I have on hand and I can get the ingredients ready. Otherwise, you're just gonna go in and wing it and see, you could probably not make something healthy. I also avoid going out to eat that much. Uh, however, those restaurants cook, they put more sodium in their food to make it flavorful and that help makes you re retain water, and it just it's just not a really healthy for you, even if you're choosing healthy food. I know you can go into a restaurant and order a salad, and the, the dressings are so many points, and and the, even when you're trying, or the, the say you're eating grilled chicken, it's probably infused with the, uh, some kind of. Uh, flavoring that's sodium filled or maybe even has some oil in it that you don't even know about. You think you're eating a piece of grilled chicken and you're really not uh, eating it that healthy. I, I, I avoid fried foods, especially in restaurants, but I do avoid, I don't even fry foods at home anymore. I'll bake them in the oven or in the air fryer with no oil. When I do use a frying pan, I will just spray it with olive oil spray or Pam. Another tip I use when going to a restaurant, if you do, just immediately get half of the meal and put it in a takeaway box. 
and that way you will only eat the portion that's on your plate and the other half you can enjoy at home and your own uh, it just helps you cut down on half the points. Another important thing I do is to up my level of fitness. Uh, I know 10,000 steps is my goal. I like having my fitness tracker to track my steps. If I just was walking, I know I wouldn't do it, but having that, uh, seeing those steps move on my wrist really helps a lot, at least for me. I like having that every day to try to achieve, so I, that I have definitely upped. Instead of sitting in a chair all day and not watch, watching TV or, or just being on my phone, I, I get up and walk. And that has been very important. The third thing I know is drinking water. The water just helps flush out that uh, excess mm, toxins or food or calories or whatever, but I do try to drink one gallon of water a day. Uh, you can put uh, some flavorings like crystal light in your water or they have uh, little packs of uh, water flavors. You can put fruit in it or vegetables, cucumbers, lemons, limes, if, if you have trouble drinking water, like straight up. Another important thing about your hitting a 100 pound goal is to stay with it. There is just uh, points in a, when you have a weight, lot of weight to lose, there's a lot of points in your life where you want to quit and it just seems like it's too hard to keep doing it and you're tired of it and you're tired of weighing your food and, and tired of tracking points and not eating what everybody else does but you really can eat what other people do you just have to eat it in less portions and you just have to track your food and portion control but you will have slip ups probably days like holidays or birthdays where you go backwards and then you just want to get back on it and try to continue. I know my downfall is pretty much going away from my house because when I go on vacation, I don't drink the water, I don't do the walking, and I don't uh, normally try to cook too much. So that is uh, hard for me to do, but you just got to stick with it. And when you get back from vacation, just resume it. It really is a lifestyle, not, not a diet. You have to treat it like a lifestyle in order to be successful. I do like my diet sodas, but I know that when I do drink them, it kind of uh, increases my appetite for food, sweets, and so I try not. I try to cut those out. I'll drink uh, unsweetened tea or water. Mostly is what I drink. I don't want to put any extra points into calories that I don't need. I will get a flavored water bottles. Uh, there's some that I like, the ice bottles or I like the Walmart brands and, and they, have, they have a lot of flavor, different flavors waters. I really like the Fuji apple water, that's my favorite, it tastes like apple cider. I know mindset is really important in weight loss, you have to uh, want to do it, uh, visualize success. Uh, think about why you wanted to lose weight. You just got to, when you um, go to reach for some food, you got to think about uh, your goal and if it's worth it. Because darn it, eating that cookie and chips and ice cream is not as good as getting on that scale and seeing if you lost weight and when you see the success and it keeps adding up pound by pound. So you have to make the right choices. The willpower is hard uh, to accomplish, but I think if you just like make it smaller things that you want to accomplish instead of the bigger, bigger picture, it'll help you do it. So if you want to give up eating snacks in between meal for a day, it, it just it's, it's that hard to undertake because you can do anything for a day and then once you start doing it, it'll get easier and easier. I'm gonna include a recipe this week for a slow cooker apple pie. It's zero points on the blue plan and it's just one of the things that helps me get through uh, 
my, to my goals, to help me get achieve a 100 pound weight loss. Okay, for the slow cooker apple pie recipe, I'm going to use Granny Smith apples. I use about eight medium apples or eight cups. I'm peeling and slicing them. I'm using a machine that I have, but it is not working that well. It's taking off way more of the apple than I usually does. Somehow it must have gotten jammed, but I use it anyways. It's so much easier to do it that way. So then once I get all the apples done, I'll cut them in half and then put them in a bowl. And I'm going to add cornstarch. Two tablespoons of cornstarch is gonna go in that. And I'm at the bottom of the box, so I'm going to take out the bag and get two tablespoons of cornstarch, which is used to thicken up the sauce. And now I'm going to add some monk fruit sweetener. You can use any kind of sweetener. I choose to use this, and that's gonna be three tablespoons. The next step is lemon juice, and it's two teaspoons of lemon juice. And I'm squeezing the last drop of that out. The next ingredient is going to be cinnamon, and that calls for one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, which I usually like to add a little more. And then vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla. Last, another next ingredient is nutmeg. I use about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And now some salt. It's about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix it all together. Make sure you're mixing all the ingredients with the apples. Now I'm going to get out a slow cooker, my crock pot insert, and spray it with some Pam, just to make sure nothing sticks. And then I'm going to pour some of the apple mixture inside of the slow cooker crock. Then I realized I forgot to use the water. We're supposed to dissolve the cornstarch in three quarters cup of cold water, but I did it afterwards and it's working out fine. So I'm mixing it up. Now I feel like I'm gonna make a little bit, add a little bit more cinnamon to make it a little bit darker. I always do that even when I make regular apple pie. Can't ever have too much cinnamon. So now it's going to go in the slow cooker on high for one and a half hours. And then when it's done, let it cool for about 10 minutes. And it is yummy. It thickens nice and thick. And I'm going to put it a bowl of it, zero points, and a scoop of frozen Cool Whip. That is a great dessert. You eat zero points with no Cool Whip and then whatever kind of cool up you use if you want to. I will put the recipe in the description box below. It helped me achieve a 100 pound weight loss. Those little snacks I like to eat, even though I gave them up this month. My quote for this week is, believe you can and you will. Kind of goes along with the Weight Watcher a weekly giving you self-confidence and believing in yourself and believing in your ability to achieve your weight loss goals. So going forward this week, I'm going to continue with my snackless September and I have two weeks left of that and I'm also getting my water and my steps in every day. So we'll see what we can go 
from 100 pounds and beyond. Remember, the goal on this channel is to eat healthy, get fit, be well. I'm doing it. I lost 100 pounds. Stay tuned to my next videos. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. This is Patty. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!